so simple tutorial good morning students welcome to sst so simple tutorial in the previous classes we read about various industries and we saw how important they are for the development of our country in today's session we will read industrial pollution and environmental degradation that means we are going to discuss the other side of the coin dear students whereas on one hand industries contribute significantly to india's economic growth and development on the other hand it leads to the increase in pollution of land water air and noise so noise you can say is a negative effect of industrialization this has resulted in the degradation of the environment and affects human health animal plants and the atmosphere as a whole in addition to this it contributes to water scarcity and on a large scale global warming and climate change students recall sustainability of development what we read there development should take place without damaging the environment isn't it and one way to achieve sustainable development is to find out ways to stop environmental pollution that is why this topic becomes important students industries are responsible for four types of pollution air water thermal and noise the polluting industries also include thermal power plants let us begin with air pollution first of all how it is caused air pollution is caused by the presence of high proportion of undesirable gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide then there are particulate materials that act as air pollutants particulate materials students commonly called pm are very fine mixture of solid particles or liquid droplets that remain suspended in the atmosphere for some period of time for example dust spray mist soot smoke and liquid droplets have you observed the air quality display board in your city if not next time you must stop and watch it properly pm in the board stands for particulate matters particulate matters is a matter of concern for people's health when their levels in air are high smoke is emitted by chemical and paper factories brick kilns refineries and smelting plants and burning of fossil fuels in big and small factories that ignore pollution norms brick kiln means into ke bhatte you can see the image of a brick kiln sometimes we hear the news of toxic gas leaks from the industries you must have heard of bhopal gas tragedy that occurred in 1984 it is known as the world's worst industrial disaster in this case about 30 tons of methyl isocyanate gas killed more than 15000 people and affected over 6 lakh workers recently in may 2020 you must have seen on tv during lockdown there was a news of styrene gas leak from lg polymers chemical plant in visakhapatnam 12 people were reported dead and more than 1000 became sick after being exposed to gas so such leaks have also proved to be hazardous for life air pollution adversely affects human health animals plants and atmosphere let us now read water pollution first of all how it is caused water pollution is caused by organic and inorganic industrial wastes and effluents that are discharged into water effluent means liquid waste or say sewage these may be dyes detergents acids salts and heavy metals like lead and mercury pesticides or fertilizers river yamuna is one of the most polluted rivers of the world today as of 2019 this river received 800 million liters of untreated sewage and additional 44 million liters of industrial effluents each day out of this only 35% of the sewage released into the river were treated once see what india today writes yamuna polluted beyond control 
think it over the story of river ganges is no different because of the establishment of a large number of industrial cities on our bank like kanpur ilahabad banaras and patna countless tanneries chemical plants textile mills distilleries slaughter houses and hospitals prosper and grow and at the same time play an active role in polluting the river by dumping untreated waste into it see what indian express reports ganga polluting industries have shot up so the main culprits in the case of water pollution are paper pulp chemical textile and dyeing petroleum refineries tanneries and electroplating industries tannery is a place where leather is made so tanneries refer to leather industries here among the solid wastes in india the major ones are fly ash phosphor gypsum and iron and steel slags fly ash is one of the by products of burning coal it is fine grey powder produced mainly from thermal power plants it contains toxic heavy metals such as lead and copper open dumping of fly ash can deteriorate ground water quality by runoff phosphor gypsum is a toxic by product of phosphoric acid created during the production of fertilizers it is a waste product iron and steel slag also known as ferrous slag is a by product produced during the smelting process of iron ore students soil and water pollution are closely related harmful chemicals industrial effluents packaging salts and garbage renders soil useless the harmful chemicals and effluents do not remain in the soil for long they escape into the soil and pollute the ground water also let us see thermal pollution now so first of all how does it occur thermal pollution of water occurs when hot water from factories and thermal plants is released into rivers and ponds before cooling this adversely affects the aquatic life it decreases the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water which aquatic life requires it damages the larvae and eggs of fish in rivers it kills some other species that have little tolerance for temperature change then pollution is also caused due to radioactive wastes from nuclear power plants these wastes are hazardous which if not properly managed can be a risk to human health and the environment waste from nuclear power plants cause cancer birth defects and miscarriages the pollution risk of nuclear radiation can also be associated with some accident students i still remember one such accident that took place at the chernobyl nuclear power station in ukraine in 1986 that time ukraine was a part of the soviet union this accident is considered the worst disaster in the history of nuclear power generation next is the noise pollution it occurs in the form of unwanted loud noise what causes noise pollution industrial and construction activities machinery factory equipment generators saws and pneumatic and electric drills are the sources of noise they produce intolerable sound industrial noise particularly from mechanical saws and pneumatic drills are unbearable industrial towns that are close to the residential areas cause discomfort to the residents the noise results in irritation and anger they can damage hearing ability they are responsible for increased heartbeat and blood pressure so these were the types of pollution created by the industries with this let me stop here students time for probable questions now how do industries pollute the environment now read your textbook and prepare a good answer to this question in the next class we will focus on the solution so in the next class we will discuss control of environmental degradation till then keep reading and have a nice time thank you